Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I know we are a bit behind. We want to apologize. We have just been extremely busy with everything that's going on. I hope all of you guys are staying safe and sound. Anyways, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. So let's get to your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. For the month remaining of May going into June 2020. All right, your first card is abundance, potential, okay, and purification. Wow, beautiful cards, Capricorn. Your partner's cards is stillness, purity, and diligence. Okay, so I see that for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single or currently single. I do see that there was a connection or there has been a connection. Um, I see more than one person in your surroundings. So it could be that you're feeling like you have options, perhaps people from your past, as well as making new connections and new friendships. Now with the abundance card, there is a abundance or opportunity to connect uh, with people on a, on a deeper level. Um, if you've started a, a some type of relationship, whether it's long distance, whether it's uh, through social media, conversating, getting to know someone, there's potential here. And the reason why they're saying there's potential is because when we start, we often are living in a very fast paced environment, society. And a lot of the times it's very difficult to actually get to know some someone. Um, why? Because we're, we're very quick. Um, a lot of people tend to not really put a lot of effort in getting to know someone only because everyone is working in a very fast paced environment. So it's kind of like, let's get to the needy greedy type of thing where right now, and it could be because of what we're experiencing right now with social distancing, there is an opportunity or underlying opportunity to connect with those that genuinely are looking for the same thing you're looking for, Capricorn. Um, and stillness could be a representation of uh, this is how they're viewing the situation and, and they're, they're viewing it as very, very slow in progress. But there is purity behind that. Perhaps you are showing them, um, perhaps you're showing them that they have to be or get to a point of having to be vulnerable in opening up and getting to know someone. And diligence could signify that they are a little bit skeptical. Nonetheless, what Spirit is saying is that there is potential here. Purification could be the representation of purity. So you have in your cards Capricorn purification, meaning there is a release of some type of habit or old habit that you've done in the past where it hasn't really given you the opportunity to get to where you want to be. It could be that relationships flare very quickly and flare out. Um, for others, it could be that you have a tendency of rushing into, uh, you know, taking it to the physical aspect rather quickly. And again, there is on both sides, a, a purity, a synchronization of really getting to know someone. I think that for the majority of you, what Spirit is saying here is that you have to let go of control. You have to allow things to happen organically. You can't rush things. And it's to the best of your interest not to rush things. When people often find themselves that people come and go, um, I often hear client, clients ask me, uh, what is it that I did wrong? Why is it that just as quickly as they come in, they go out? Well, it depends. See, if if you're not really connecting with people on an emotional level, meaning getting or giving them the opportunity to get to know you on a deeper level, and you solely rush into the physical aspect, um, by nature, we are animal, in, animal instincts uh, kick in. We are have the desire, right, of the physical connection. But it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to bond or that it's going to bring the person to you um, or even create a, a deeper bond. So what they're saying here is that if that's something you've done in the past, Capricorn, you have to let go of that. You have to let go of rushing or jumping to conclusions. Even when you're first getting to know someone, there is a need 
uh, to be practical. And perhaps this social distancing is giving you the opportunity um, to really open up and to really pay attention as well. Uh, so in regards to those of you guys that are in a long term committed relationship, there is um, a lot of hardships that you guys have gone through, especially if you guys are still dealing with financial difficulties. But there is an opportunity. There is light at the end of the tunnel. You do have abundance card and potential uh, with purification. So there is a release of blockages that is being lifted Capricorn. And I think that this has majorly influenced or impacted your relationship uh, with your partner. And on their part, they may be seeing the situation as you've grown cold or perhaps a bit distant, uh, but there is purity there, meaning um, they are or will be very receptive, understanding and trying, even encouraging with the diligence, uh, what they're telling you here is pay attention to the advices that your partner is going to be giving you, especially directly connected to finances, as I feel that they're coming from a very good place and they may actually um, help you benefit in certain situations or opportunities that may arise. So pay attention to that Capricorn. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading and we'll see each other soon. You guys take care. Bye.